What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost and one of the first questions on everyone's mind when they got done watching Dune, whether they were watching it at home on HBO Max or in the movie theater, was what's going on with this sequel? Because it is quite obvious from the very beginning of this movie to the last scene of this movie that this is not the entire story, that there is supposed to be a part two. And now we have official word from Warner Brothers, finally that Dune Part 2 is indeed coming. Check out the headline from Variety. Dune Part 2 officially greenlit, release date set for 2023. And there are a lot of people that saw that October release date of 2023 that are thinking, that might be a little aggressive because this movie is not anywhere close to being made right now. You still have to work out all the casting schedules, all these things. But right now, Warner Brothers has given the go-ahead. Dune Part 2 is in the works. And for myself, who I went and saw Dune, um, I had decent expectations for it. It really blew those away. I thought this movie was really, really good. And uh, I'm very excited that it's getting a Part 2. I kind of thought that this would happen regardless of what the box office did. And it's not the greatest box office numbers to be sure. We're going to go over all of that. But this announcement has me excited because I think it's a good film. I think it did a good job of honoring the source material, which is a difficult thing to do for this specific story. But also making a movie that clearly is for right now. Clearly meant to be seen on IMAX. It's grandiose scale. It was awesome. Can't wait for part two. Let's get the details here. Dune is officially getting a sequel. Legendary Entertainment announced the news in a tweet on Tuesday, ensuring that the spice will continue to flow on screen. Warner Bros. will distribute the film and help finance it through Legendary, is the, although Legendary is the primary money behind the movie and owns the film rights to the book series. The film is expected to have an exclusive theatrical run. Let's freaking hope so that in 2023, no one's putting this crap on streaming services like they are now because of COVID, uh, which is absolutely ridiculous. The films likely have exclusive theatrical deal and Legendary will likely make the point ironclad after Dune debuted simultaneously in theaters and the HBO box office. Uh, there's the tweet. This is only the beginning. Dune Part 2. That's awesome. The first part of the sci-fi epic, which opened on October 22nd, earned $41 million domestically its first weekend. Now, although that is the highest that we have seen from these simultaneous theater and HBO Max releases... It's still, I don't think, anywhere close to what it would have been if it had been exclusively theatrical. Even though they say, this is kind of what we expected this movie to do in the beginning. I don't think that's the case. This movie's budget was a lot less than a lot of other massive, huge blockbusters. At the same time, it still does need to make around $400 million, potentially a little bit more, to actually break even. And it's going to be a tough time for it to get there. But I think all things considered, when you think about how much it was delayed, when you think about the HBO Max release, I think that they were committed to doing part two, basically no matter what. As long as it wasn't a massive, massive flop, they were going to do part two. And I think that that's a good idea. Uh, the film has also performed well overseas, earning nearly $22, uh, $225 million globally. You have to factor in the, that it's been out a pretty long time internationally. It's not like a lot of these things where it might get one week head start or maybe it'll open in the domestic box offices then really open up worldwide. No, it's been open worldwide for quite some time and a lot of that money has already been made. A return to Arrakis was always part of the plan. Director Denis Villeneuve was adamant in interviews that his adaptation of Frank Herbert's novel would have two parts. In fact, the film's opening title boldly reads Dune Part 1. He says, I wanted to do it, uh, I wanted at the beginning to do two parts simultaneously. For several reasons, it didn't happen, probably budget. And I agreed to the challenge of making part one and then wait to see if the movie rings enough enthusiasm. As I was doing the first part, I put all my passion into it in case it would be the only one, but I'm optimistic. And everything we heard from Ann Sarnoff and everyone indicated that there would be another one in the works. And now it's official. I actually don't think that a time, like if, if it had been three years, it might almost be perfect because there's a little bit of a time jump in the book itself. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how they work at what happens, uh, what, what we get to see happen with these characters, if they're going to keep it really strict to the books or if they're going to take a liberty here or there. Either way, very excited to see what Dune Part 2 has in store for all of us when we go back to Arrakis. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. 
Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.